To run your Android Eclipse app on your phone, you first have to install your device USB drivers to your computer and also set up your phone settings properly. So start by googling your device driver downloads, type in the brand name of your phone and then follow it up with a USB driver. And you have to browse the links here, um, for Samsung it's the first one, um, I'll put the link in the description and you can just download this zip file. Um, and for LG, um, it's going to be one of the links but not the first one, it's not quite as easy as Samsung, but you can go to this one and then the site links you um, links you at the download page and then um, so I'll put this in the description as well um, you don't actually have to find your specific provider I used Virgin Mobile and it worked even for a Telus phone so yeah you just basically have to google your device drivers and you have to do that yourself but once you're done that then all you have to do is set up the settings properly on your phone First, go into the settings on your phone, then look for security settings or something similar to that, and it'll have the option to enable unknown sources. The description should say something like, allow installation of apps from sources other than the Play Store. It is probably an unchecked checkbox, so just check it. Next, look possibly in your developer options or general options, and look for the option to stay awake. The description will say something like, the screen will never sleep while charging. Again, it should be an unchecked checkbox, so just check it. Finally, possibly in developer options as well, look for the option to enable USB debugging. The description should say something like debug mode when USB is connected. Again, should be an unchecked checkbox, so just check it. And then you're done. I'll now show you how to run it in Android Eclipse. So in any class, just hit this play button. Uh, this is your phone and this is the emulator. Uh, if this isn't there, then your phone isn't connected, your drivers aren't installed properly or something like that. Uh, click on that, hit use same device for future launches. Do this so that um, every time you uh, hit the play button, the screen doesn't pop up, it just plays on your phone automatically. And once you close Eclipse and reopen it, um, you'll have to go to this screen again. But yeah, for this launch of Android Eclipse, if you check this box, every time you run it, it'll run on the same device, which is your phone, so that's really nice. Just hit OK. This thing is going to fill up green, and when it's not green anymore, the app is going to be running on your phone.